All right, well, I've got another little series of videos here uh, on the, my 77 Chevy C10 project. And I've got the cylinder head off here. This is a, uh, in my truck, this is the 250 inline six. And you're looking here at the back, this is the number six cylinder. And basically what the problem was, is I had some smoke coming out of the tailpipe. And it looked like white smoke, so I just assumed that the head gasket was bad. Uh, but it was hard to tell if it was white or if it was blue. So it was either oil getting into the cylinder or it was water. So nonetheless, I had to take the cylinder head off. And so I checked my head gasket. There was nothing really wrong with it. And so now I'm checking uh, my valve seals. So, uh, so I'll get in here and uh, we'll compress these springs and uh, we'll get these valve seals uh, pulled out of here. So I went to the auto parts store and I rented the little valve spring compressor tool. And I really don't like this style of valve spring compressor. I think they're kind of dangerous. Um, but they're real simple. They just fit over the valve. The two little teeth here on the bottom. Just grab a couple little rungs of the spring. And then what I like to do is get it to where it's snug on the retaining cap there. Get it to where it's snug. And then I take a zip tie and I wrap it around here. The reason I don't like these types of uh, spring compressors is they tend to pop loose right down here. So that's why I put the uh, zip tie on there to help hold all that into place. So come in here, find my ratchet, stick the ratchet on top, and we just start squeezing these springs down. And I'll show you, I did a leak down test on this engine too. And every single cylinder on this engine had at least one leaking valve. And this number six cylinder, both intake and exhaust valves were leaking. And I'll plug that video in uh, right here and show you. And what I'm doing now, I'm using my little uh, homemade uh, leak down tester. This was a uh, compression tester and still is. It's convertible um, into either or. Um, but I'm using this to see, to check my valves. Now I don't know if I have this cylinder at top dead center, but what I do know is my valves are closed. I've completely loosened them up, intake, and the exhaust, so I know those are closed. So let me go, I've got the compressor turned off, but let me put a little bit of uh, pressure into it, and I'm only using about 30 PSI. So we'll come over here, you can hear the air leaking. Now I found that I have an air leak coming out of the number one intake uh, intake valve. If I come over here, I've got the dipstick pulled out. I've also got air bleeding down through the rings. 